Hey, what's going on guys? Today's movie spotlight focuses on a man whose ideas and creations push the limits of special effects, animatronics, and puppetry. His inception of characters are beloved in our hearts and without him, television and film would never be the same. This week we look at the life and the legacy of Jim Henson. Jim Henson was born September 24, 1936, and was an American puppeteer, artist, cartoonist, inventor, screenwriter, songwriter, musician, actor, film director, and producer. Henson achieved international fame as being the creator of the Muppets. Henson was born a Christian scientist, and he fondly remembered the arrival of his family's first television set and recalled it as the biggest event of his adolescence. Jim Henson was heavily influenced by radio ventriloquist Edgar Bergen, a person who inspired him for greatness. Henson attended Northwestern High School in 1954, and he began working for WTOP-TV, creating puppets for Saturday morning children's shows called the Junior Morning Show. After graduating from high school, Henson attended college at the University of Maryland as a studio arts major, thinking he would become a commercial artist. Taking puppetry classes and home economics, he graduated in 1960 with a bachelor's degree in home economics. When Henson was a college freshman, he had been asked by the WTOP TV studio to create a show called Sam and Friends, a five-minute puppet show for the network. The characters that Henson created on Sam and Friends were the forerunners of the Muppets and the show included a prototype of Henson's most famous and beloved character, Kermit the Frog. Henson continued to work at the studio for seven years, and during that time he worked on a show called Afternoon, which was a magazine show aimed at housewives. During this time he collaborated with a colleague named Jane Nebel, who later became Jim Henson's wife. While Jim was working on Sam and Friends, he began experimenting with techniques that would change the way puppetry had been used in television. Jim believed that television puppetry needed to have life and sensitivity. Henson and Nebel started to create their own puppets that were forms of marionettes with string and arm rods that allowed the puppeteers more control over the puppet's movements. Henson wanted his puppet characters to speak more creatively than was possible for previous puppets which had random mouth movements. Henson used precise mouth movements to match the dialogue, which seemingly made the puppets more realistic. During his time working on Sam and Friends, Henson coined the term Muppet in the 1950s, which is a combination of puppet and marionette. Henson took a long break from Sam and Friends and moved to Europe because he expressed a lot of doubt of becoming a puppeteer as a career. In Europe, he studied art and theater, which gave him an idea for how he could use puppetry and weave it into mainstream television. When Henson returned to America, he married fellow puppeteer Jane Nebel, who worked with him on Sam and Friends. During the late 1950s, Henson created Muppet characters that were used in television ads, primarily for Wilkins Coffee and Purina Dog Chow. 
This machine tells if you're a good guy or a bad guy. How? Oh. All good guys drink Wilkins instant coffee. I tell you, Ralph, there's only one answer to this dog food problem. Asparagus. Tender, succulent asparagus. Well, that may be all right for you, Baskerville, but I like Purina dog chow. But asparagus is nourishing. It's got vitamins. Purina dog chow is more nourishing. It's got all 43 vitamins and minerals a fella needs to make him feel all dog. Ha! The asparagus tastes good. The character of Rolf the dog was a huge success, and it led Henson to finalize his tour de force, which was Kermit the Frog and the leading mascot for the Muppets. Kermit the Frog is Henson's most famous Muppet creation and was first introduced in 1955. The earliest trace of Kermit first appeared on Salmon Friends. Kermit was created from a discarded spring coat belonging to Henson's mother and two ping pong ball halves for eyes. Kermit was originally a lizard-like creature before Henson turned him into a frog. Kermit was extremely popular and became the mascot and brand for Henson's company, much like Mickey Mouse was the brand and mascot for Walt Disney. Henson performed Kermit and voiced the Muppet up until his death in 1990 when Steve Whitmere took over for Henson. Kermit and Rolf the Dog were the first two Muppet characters ever created, which led to more ideas for other characters. After Henson married Jane Nebel during the early 1960s, Henson had an idea for a vaudevillian type show with his puppet characters, which he called The Muppet Show. Television studio execs at the time thought Henson was crazy and that nobody would ever watch a show full of puppets. However, Henson persisted and an idea was hatched to create an American children's television series. Created by Joan Gans Cooney and Lloyd Morissette, Sesame Street debuted in 1969 to commercial and critical success and is still currently running on television. Jim Henson's Muppets and Creations are used in the show for children's entertainment and education. Sesame Street is considered to be the essential television show for children's education and has become a significant part of a lot of children's childhoods. Muppet characters like Grover and Oscar the Grouch have become childhood favorites along with Cookie Monster, The Count, and Sesame Street's signature mascot of Big Bird. Kermit the Frog appeared in various Sesame Street episodes who primarily served as a victim of comic relief. Oh, oh, there we go, come on up. That's it, don't be shy. Come on. That's it. Very attractive. There, you see, our new model, sunglasses with ears and with nose. Mustache is optional. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Grover, I'm going to get you for wait, this, Grover! 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 Come back here! Good job! Stop it! You made it your job! I'll see you your job! During the golden years of Sesame Street, Jim Henson met and collaborated with fellow voice actor and puppeteer Frank Oz, who is known for playing Fozzie Bear, Miss Piggy, and Bert. The Bert and Ernie sketches on Sesame Street were Henson and Oz's best moments as the duo incorporated realism and humor as it reflected their life and working relationship. Oz and Henson remained best friends up until Jim's death. During the Sesame Street era, Jim Henson pitched his Muppet show to various networks as Sesame Street had become a global success. However, nobody would finance such a variety show as network executives didn't think the Muppets would garner an adult audience. After many years of trial and error and a lot of growing pains, network executive Lou Grade approached Henson to produce the program in the United Kingdom on a limited budget. The Muppet Show debuted between 1975 to 1981 and was a huge success. The Muppet Show consisted of a vaudevillian, music hall style song and dance variety show that had adult humor and comedy mixed with featured daily and weekly celebrities that would guest star. The show was outrageous, slapstick, and sometimes absurd, while the Muppet characters parodied things in modern films and television programs. Here's a Muppet news flash. Police announced today that a killer lamb had escaped from the Department of Agriculture's maximum security sheep station. 
This lamb is one of a new kind of sheep that has been bred to hunt wolves and is extremely dangerous. Uh, this killer lamb has been trained to attack at the sound of a bell. Hello? The Muppets rose to fame and power, becoming a powerhouse in television rankings that eventually garnered a huge American audience. The success of The Muppet Show led Frank Oz and Jim Henson to create a series of films based on their Muppet characters. The Muppet movie showed how Kermit got his start in television and how he formed the band of misfit characters. The Muppet movie, like the show, had a number of famous celebrities, ranging from Bob Hope to Steve Martin. The film showed the budding romance between Kermit and Miss Piggy, as well as the Oscar-nominated song, Rainbow Connection, written by Paul Williams. The Muppet movie was deemed culturally and historically significant and was selected for preservation by the Library of Congress. After the success of the Muppet movie, Frank Oz directed the sequel, The Muppets Take Manhattan, which also was a huge success for Jim Henson, his Muppets, and his studio. The film showed the marriage of Kermit and Miss Piggy, while Henson and company started to experiment with new forms of animation technology and puppetry that had never before been seen in a film. The success of the Muppet movies led Jim Henson and Frank Oz to write and direct their own original films based on new characters. Films like The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth captured the soul and the imagination of children while providing them with new forms of entertainment. The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth were dark fantasy tales that never connected with film critics but have garnered a massive cult following of audience members and many people, such as myself, who grew up with these fantasy tales and hold them in a special place of childhood memories. While working with Henson, Frank Oz utilized modern forms of technology and puppetry and famously portrayed and puppeteered Jedi Master Yoda in all of the Star Wars films. Henson also created bodysuits and animatronic heads for films like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Disney television show Dinosaurs. Fraggle Rock was another popular Henson show that incorporated music and song and dance numbers with other Muppet characters. Henson saw a surge of success in his lifetime and his impact on the world, pop culture and television shook the foundations of entertainment. On May 16, 1990, Jim Henson tragically died of pneumonia as an excess of fat and fluid overtook his lungs, which caused respiratory failure. He told no one, except his ex-wife, about his illness, and his death was a tragic shock to his family, friends, and colleagues. On a very special episode of The Muppets, our characters learn of Jim Henson's tragic death and cope with it in their own way as a touching tribute to the man that created them. Sweet. Yeah, really I feel very sorry that your best friend Jim died. What? Died? Jim died? But we were just starting to get to know him. Perhaps the substance of Jim Henson's genius was the ability to see wonder far off in crazy directions and get people to follow him there. Roberta Moran, Dover Plains, New York. You know, Mr. Henson was a very good, talented teacher. He will never be dead in my heart. Elizabeth Nicola Edelman, Mountain Lakes, New Jersey. While falling asleep that night, our five-year-old daughter Blair said, it's a good thing there are people who can do Jim Henson's job. He'll be with us every time we watch the Muppets. He'll be able to see them from heaven. The Reeser family... Las Vegas, Nevada. We will miss you, Jim Henson. Matt. Brian Henson, Jim's son, continued his father's legacy and continued to create Muppet films and television shows that captured the magic of childhood. Films like A Muppet Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island were new avenues of entertainment that tried to maintain the Muppet feel without Jim Henson. Muppets Tonight premiered on Disney in the mid-1990s, but saw very little success and the Muppets slowly faded into obscurity. It wasn't until 2008, 
when How I Met Your Mother comedy star Jason Segel pitched an idea to Disney about resurrecting the Muppet franchise. In his film Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Siegel uses a custom Dracula Muppet for his Dracula musical, which was a tryout for the new era of Muppets. Jason Siegel was a lifelong Muppet fan, and his idea turned into something golden and nostalgic for all Muppet lovers. The Muppets film was released in 2011 to audience and critical acclaim, incorporating varieties from the previous Muppet films and elements of the 1970s Muppet show. The project was treated with respect and utmost care, and the song and dance numbers were equally touching and fun in traditional Muppet spirit. The title song, Manor Muppet, won the Academy Award for Best Original Song, while the finale saw the entire Muppet cast reunite for a touching rendition of The Rainbow Connection. Jim Henson's legacy has impacted millions of adults and children all around the world, from his family-friendly creations, his unrelenting imagination and creativity. The Muppets have stood the test of time, and many argue they are still relevant in today's culture. Jim Henson was a talent unmatched, and his legacy lives on through the eyes of the Muppets and the spirit of Kermit the Frog. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click the like button over here, subscribe to this channel, and also check out our website, filmschoolhooligans.com. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Uh, you know, it's too bad Gonzo's leaving the show. Yeah, I can think of some other people I'd rather see leave the show. Who? Me. <laughs>